in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed mercy is always the fruit of compassion and the bible says god is love that is the basis of his consistently administering mercy and then that there is an intrinsic nature of default in the fallen man are we together the psalmist said in psalm 51 in iniquity did my mother conceive me that means the tendency to surprise yourself and to walk in ways that are inconsistent with scripture is already enshrined in the fallen man by default so when men survive and continue and remain and thrive it is a testament that through brokenness that admittance of the limitation in our nature they have obtained help of god to continue someone say mercy this morning we discussed a few things still stretching through the topic it was a leaders meeting and we took time extensively to talk about your experience with God I did tell us that there are two pathways everybody on earth can explore the journey to life and destiny um, in any or through any of these pathways number one you can follow the path of the natural man the path that is made up of logic experimentation guesswork alongside all the errors that come with it or you can choose the path of the spiritual man and we did define let me do that definition we did define who a spiritual man is based on scripture that a spiritual man is not just one who is in church all the time a spiritual man is not just one who is in tears every time a worship song or the word is coming a spiritual man is one who number one has submitted as a covenant to the supremacy of the word of God as final authority over your life you are a spiritual man to the degree to which the word of God has gained supremacy over your heart and mind number two you are a spiritual man to the degree to which you have submitted to the influence and the leadership of the Holy Spirit on all and every matter not selective submission your submission must be total regardless the effect it brings to your emotions so you see that being a spiritual man is not just something you claim it is a journey you come to a point where you willingly you consciously submit to the governing authority of the Holy Spirit and then to the influence of the Word of God and for you to thrive and excel you must have a deep experience with God please get the morning's teaching I did teach us that there are many levels of increases that God himself would not bring you into until you have a deep experience with God because the strength of your experience with God is what gives you the stamina to survive the challenges that come with greatness hallelujah and that there are times where your inability to rise is not demonic it is God himself that pegs your growth as an act of his mercy to help you because if he allows you to rise up without an experience with him you will be a casualty to yourself and then eventually to the body so there are many people who are not rising beyond certain levels and it is not just because the devil is attacking them it is God himself that limited their growth because they do not have that experience I told you that there are spirits that follow mantles not men if you are Elijah Jezebel will come after you she does not care your physical name once you are carrying certain mantles there are spirits that are assigned across territories to follow certain offices not to follow people offices so if you are going to become a deliverer make sure you know what to do with the spirit of Pharaoh 
if God is calling you to be Esther, you must master how to use honor to defeat her man. There are, there are spirits that follow graces. So we don't just say, I want to be Esther. God will have to vet if you have understood what to do with her man. You want to become Esther and you ignore the ministry of Mordecai, you may not survive. Are we together? Yeah. We did say that Elisha wanted the double portion of Elijah. But there were certain things, even though he performed many miracles, there were still certain things he did not understand about Elijah staying power to remain. And as a result, he died. He died of sickness. He did not master the law of life. And yet he carried a double portion. So there are many things we are praying for that is within the reach of God to give us. But in giving us those blessings, we are not prepared for the side effects that come in having those blessings. That is why your experience with God is like you're signing in your signature for the next level. The deeper your experience is with God, the more you are opening yourself to rise higher. Hallelujah. We wrapped up this morning session by talking about the power, the gift of man. That everything in life happens to you because of men all blessings come from god through men to men all troubles come from satan through men to men that in doing business you are not doing business with products and services as it were it is with men leadership is about men ministry is about men when you remove men out of the equation then there is nothing else to do and we did define what it means to be a man i told you that in order to be a man you first have to be a spirit if you are not a spirit you cannot be a man and that spirit must be hosted in a material body a physical body are we together yes that spirit must have a body and must have the mind the solical faculties that connect your spirit and your body if you don't have that you are not a man the earth the bible says the heaven of heavens is the lord but the earth has he given to the children of men men are god's authorized caretakers of the earth so if you know the owner alone and you do not know the caretaker you will be miserable on earth it takes knowing god and understanding men building quality relationships that provide a leverage for you so the first way god helps us is by granting us access to his mercy the second way god provides help is by exposing us to the ministry of men the third way that god sends us help is by introducing us to the person and the ministry of the holy spirit these are the three channels for obtaining help from God. So that when you say, God, help me, or I receive help from you, with spiritual intelligence, you know exactly what you are saying. I obtain your mercy. I obtain the ministry of men and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Let me talk for a few minutes about the Holy Spirit, and then we'll pray. Can we pray in the Spirit? In fact, in just one or two minutes, just to prepare our hearts, and then I would share a few things about the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and bless him in the Spirit. Why do we pray? We pray to align our hearts to the speakings of the Spirit. We pray so that there are no solical distractions while the Word of God is coming. Go ahead and pray. E predike balas shada fraska di balia kata pronta zege de veledosh rakata bakato zege de velekushiata. All the overflows. Make sure you are praying. Those who are following online and those with the main auditorium, go ahead and pray. Shada balata pas shada bakata pronta zege de veledia. E prete kete balaku shada fraska de balato ziata. Mande bratas kadeva neko shali grete geskaria bahashara bala kadaba kato sada predigiria. 
In Grata Kate Balasha Laska Namahas Katiba Karyada Katusia, Mega de Brentes Kate Balaka Tushka de Brente Balakusiate, El Gata Braska de Balaka Tasha Brenta Kate Branta Gabalash, Mega Brenta Gabalakusa de Brenta Gabalado Bakata Pasa Gata Melene Bakata, Membrakata Paraka Paska de Branta Gabalaka Tushka de Brenta Gate, Rakate Balada Bakaska Brenta Gate Belada Baskia Taba. Rasso Padavala Padava Shalava Gatabacatus Cate Brentege Bash, Embracatusca de Bresca de Balasho Brentege Basque de Malahasia. My spirit is open, Mesana Malasha de Bretes de Belegosh, Macata Brasca de Beleke Shalavacados Cate Belegata, Embrata Pasca da Bretege Belegados Cale Brentege Baladusiata. Make sure you are praying, you are opening your spirit to receive. Sade malade baraso da brakas kus kene malade basha da ba embraka ta baratos kata frate ke baratos sade malade te banda brata baratos kata malata frate ke malade te branda skada malade bas lege te fres kate balasho brakos kate baratos sade embrata bakata barada balaka ta frata bada kata frate ke te malade te frata shada balada balaka ta fransa sade lege te bas menda brakata frate ke malade Kata brante ke bala gata, neke pros kato brante ke bala tos kata brante ke bala tu fria sada bala tas. Evra kata para tos kata brante ke bala gata brante ke bala gata. Brata bala kata fras kata bala gata bradis kati bradi ka bali ata batusia. Just for a minute or two, mete bas kali kata fras kata bala gata bala kata brante ke bala gata us. Leka te fras kata bala kata katush kate kres e bra kata ba kata bara kata ba kata bara kata kata bala kata bara kata bala katush me gratos kata fras kate bala katush kate bara kate kate parus e bra kata bara kata bala kata bara kate kate bala kata me sadi bala kata fras kate bashe ne mas kate bala shaba kas e grata bala 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 kata bala kata bara kate bash. Mega branta gas kota bras kene baratus ka frete kach e braka ta baranta kata frete kete bele kete braka ta balaka ta pa masha baraka ta barasa ta balaka ta bras kata laka ta frata kete bele kete frete kete kato kas shada bala e braka ta barata skata frate kete bela sh e brata baka ta bros koto koko tosh koto koko tosh kate baka ta brata kata frate kete bele kete tosh kale kete kete bala da ba. Bento cinema shana magata engra takata fresca de baladusiata. Are you still praying? Rata tava tava kete tava kete baladus shana magatus. Rata tava tava katus kete brente kete brente magatus. Shana bras kete balada magata brente kete balad. Engra takata frata kas kete balad kete barus. Shame de barus kete balad shana bras kete baladus. Deka paru kata baka tebre deke tebre lekush shabara da bala da bala 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 keros kadi bala shoto frontos koto frontes kabaria tebra kata bala da baras kete belege via kade bara te fadu sala bara tus kete bara deke bala sh meke te bras kada bala da bras kadi bala supra es kadi ala bala da. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make Your presence known. Reveal the glory of the risen. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come. Shaba salaba salit de brasia da bala. Ela shalege de bala sobre a sala bala da. Mendeleka sobras ke di bala tus ya da bala. Let the way of your glory be ours.
the helper, the paraclet. Sanabasa de Belecusia Tafrasca de Balabusia. Menecosia has Shabalandos Cabrida Casupra Discipia. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill the stand with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. greatest gifts that can be given to a man is access to the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit very few people really understand the Holy Spirit very few people know who he is most people know what he does but they do not know who he is they know that he can heal they know that he is many things but they do not really know him the Lord wants to open our eyes a bit tonight and then we'll pray. Please sit down. I want you to be very sensitive because we are talking about the spirit of grace. My life changed when this helper came to my life. I know what it means to be helped by God. I have tasted a bit of his help in and through the person of the Holy Spirit. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6. Zechariah 4 and verse 6. Then he answered and said unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Enugu state, saying, It is not by my nor by power power there means human efforts but it is by my spirit destiny actualization walking in signs and wonders being a revealer of the possibilities of the kingdom he says it does not happen by might it doesn't even happen by human efforts it is by the spirit of god the ministry of the Holy Spirit is not left to Pentecostals and Charismatics. Unfortunately, most the average believer has an idea that if you desire to press into the, the things of the Spirit, then you have to be a man of God or someone who aspires to work in the prophetic or the apostolic. The average believer does not seem to be interested in knowing the person and even the ministry of the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 14, we we'll begin our reading from verse 16. John 14, Jesus was speaking to the disciples. They had seen the Son of God live an extraordinary, invincible life. He was a healer. He was a lifter. If you encountered Jesus in his earth walk, you would know that your problems had come to an end. He was invincible. He sustained a level of strength and power and in intelligence that was unusual and they needed to know the secret they were probing into the basis for the possibilities that his life commanded 14 16 john i will pray the father 
and he will give you another comforter is the greek expression alos paracletos the word alos means the one who is just like me an extension of myself are we together now i will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever next verse even the spirit of truth he is called that means you can trust his ministry he does not lie he is not fraud the bible calls him the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him he says but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you the last verse it says i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you i will send you that help in and through the person and the ministry of the holy spirit in micah chapter 3 and verse 8 the bible tells us that even power in this kingdom resides within the office of this paraclete the spirit of god micah 3 and verse 8 it says but truly i am full of power by the spirit of the lord i am full of power not just by my imagination i'm full of power not just by some incantations the spirit of god in acts chapter 1 and verse 8 jesus himself was speaking to his disciples 120 of them and he said but ye shall receive power not before power is always after he comes you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and the holy spirit alongside that power will turn you into witnesses unto me both in jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth hallelujah in isaiah chapter 48 and verse 16 i'm showing you scriptures want to talk a bit about the holy spirit because for many of you more than just receiving a miracle tonight you need to be introduced or reintroduced to the person of the holy spirit isaiah 48 16 the last sentence there it says and now the lord god and his spirit has sent me the lord never sends you with the word alone it is the word and the spirit the lord god and his spirit has sent me to do ministry sent me to do business sent me to heal the sick hallelujah in revelations 22 just help those under the anointing let's look at verse 16 and 17 revelations 22 I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root of the offspring of David, the bright and the morning star. Uh -huh. It says the spirit and the bride say come. Anything that must come must have the participation of the spirit. It is always the spirit and the bride that says come. If the bride is speaking alone, there cannot be performance until the spirit speaks first the spirit and the bride say be healed the spirit and the bride say sore the spirit and the bride say be lifted who is the holy spirit in genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 and 2 he is the first revelation the the first of the godhead that has been revealed in the bible the bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2 says, Now the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Is the Hebrew word tohuwa bohu, confusion and chaos. That was the state. And the next person we see is the Spirit of God. That means he's a master over darkness. Every time there is darkness and confusion, he's the one who is sent. And the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. And then verse 3 says, Elohim said, God said, light be. Why? Because the Spirit of God was already there. That means any speaking is barren until the Spirit of God precedes that speaking. Listen carefully. Empty talk without his presence will only lead to disappointment even god ensured that the spirit of god was hovering first 
then he spoke and it was are we together theologically speaking the holy spirit is called the third person of the trinity now we know based on the bible and based on the authority of scripture that the trinity is a reality the word unity the bible says hear ye o israel the lord our god is one lord the word there does not mean singular the word there is unity are we together that the godhead consists of the father the son and the holy spirit it's a miracle service so there's no time to begin to teach you the theological proof of the existence of the father the son and the holy spirit but then we see in the baptism of jesus that jesus the word is there on earth with john the baptist then the bible says the heavens open and the spirit of god a separate entity aside from jesus came and rested upon him then there was another voice that was not jesus and was not the holy spirit the father who spoke and said this is my son if he called him son then he must be father are we together so we see there the, the ministry of the word jesus the spirit of god and even the father jesus in commissioning the disciples said you will baptize them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit jesus himself said it when stephen was about to be stoned the bible says the heavens were opened he was full of the holy ghost and then he saw the glory of god and jesus himself standing at the right hand of the father so we know for a shorty that the concept of the trinity is not a man-made phenomenon the holy spirit is not an angel the holy spirit is not a disciple the holy spirit is not a bird he's not fire he's not oil he's not a dove the holy spirit is god listen carefully the reason why the personality of the holy spirit in terms of his physical form is not revealed is because the holy spirit has the assignment to reveal jesus are we together now but make no mistake the holy spirit is god in every sense I know the Bible uses the word Holy Ghost and of course we can understand because of translation but the Holy Spirit is not a ghost no he's a living spirit he is the life-giving spirit it is the Holy Spirit that you call eternal life eternal life is not what he brings eternal life is him he is the very life of God it's important you know this so the Holy Spirit is God in every way the Holy Spirit Jesus himself was speaking to us and he prayed in 2nd Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 14 popular scripture the scripture that is an anthem in my own life the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ he said the love of God and the communion that's the word koinonia of the Holy Ghost he says let it be with you he is praying that the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the communion that comes from this ministry let it abide with you forever the Holy Spirit has a fourfold function in the life of the believer let me rush because of time number one is the ministry of guidance number two is the ministry of direction number three is the ministry of revelation number four is the ministry of empowerment do not forget this is the fourfold ministry of the holy spirit in the life of the believer number one guidance what does it mean to guide to guide means to show you the the steps direction means to show you the destination but guidance means to show you the steps you can have direction and yet not have guidance are we together now yes if you tell me if you're looking for the restroom i can tell you turn left go right and you see a building that's the restroom i didn't guide you i gave you direction direction focuses on the destination but guidance focuses on the steps that takes you there whether it is the steps or the destination it is within the office of the holy spirit to both guide and direct are we together now 
the Bible says he will guide you into all truth so even truth without guidance will not edify you truth just like that without the guidance of the Holy Spirit will lead you into all shades of error and mistakes even though it is truth when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you so the Holy Spirit has the assignment of guidance do not forget the Holy Spirit has the assignment to the saints of direction the Holy Spirit has the assignment of revelation he is the one who opens you to the mysteries of the kingdom he is the one who brings to you spiritual illumination he opens your eyes that you will see and then the Holy Spirit is the administrator of the power of God listen to me the dynamics and the administration of spiritual power resides within the office of the Holy Spirit that means if you do not know the Holy Spirit forget about working in genuine power signs and wonders the administration of any and all forms of spiritual power resides within the office of the Holy Spirit not even Jesus as the word could function until the Holy Spirit came the empowerment of Jesus did not just come because he was the word he needed to be empowered by the Spirit of God thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done now theologically speaking as far as god's creation is concerned the holy spirit has a ministry to creation i hope you know that the holy spirit's ministry is not just to men the holy spirit is the life force behind everything you see i know that science says we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide the reverse is the case with you know plants and certain kinds of microorganisms and so on and so forth teaching men without his presence will only become a mere lecture they will be looking at you nodding you would think they are getting it but their lives will not show according to the principle of the kingdom we never do anything till we verify that his presence is in it when you want to do business it's a risk to use common sense you wait till he arrives he is the spirit of truth the moment he arrives everything that is a lie is about to be judged the spirit of god he has a ministry to unbelievers what is his ministry to believers the four levels of ministry that i just listed for you is for believers direction guidance revelation and empowerment bring the weak version of you and expose that person to the ministry of the holy spirit watch what happens ah, weak men can become strong timid men can become powerful ignorant people can become full of light all by the ministry of this paraclete god gave him to us and warned us he said i know that i want you to save the world but tarry 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 don't make the mistake of moving without him at every point verify if he's there is it not moses that said don't send us if your presence will not go he was talking to god so what is his presence was he not already talking to god which presence was he looking for again there's something about your presence at the advance man of god i can tell you the secret out of the struggle in ministry is not just running around you will run from pillar to post and you will not find anything but when you find the holy spirit he can grant you direction this is the way thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk therein and you will find rest for your soul the helper the helper the helper ordinary man but when he holds you <laughs> uh, 
when he holds you you will not look like it till you become it when he holds you people will even laugh and say you you want to do business i may not have any advantage but my goodness when the helper comes listen many of you have heard about my vision let me share it one time here again i had this vision when god was revealing my call and i was somewhere in a high altitude and i saw a generation of people crying and languishing and i was talking to those in front just like an elevated position like this and they said no food and no water and i said who is the cause for this why should the whole generation be without food and water and they pointed at me they said you are the reason i said me i can't be that wicked why would i do that to you and then i made up my mind in that vision it was like there were a few people who had chased me to that corner and i just remained there i made up my mind i said listen i'm coming to help you and if i perish i perish as soon as i opened the door there was this giant gray bearded man i know him he stretched his giant hand and he said i should bring my little hand and he held that hand and we began to walk together the spirit of the living god we began to jump one building after another and i couldn't jump so i would follow the small ladder connecting them but he would jump and sit at the other side and he's just smiling and waiting for me to arrive the spirit of the living god believe me i do not claim to know everything about the kingdom but when it has to do with the ministry of the holy spirit i've been given the privilege of access to know him are we together yes the spirit of god can reveal himself to you he can reveal the word he can open your eyes to see you will see when others are looking you can see i told you in the morning that sight is not just a product of your eyes it is your eyes plus light that is equal to sight even if your eye is walking and there is no light it's still darkness for you hallelujah pray in one minute whilst you are seated and say reveal yourself to me spirit of the living god go ahead Reveal yourself. Bring to end confusion in my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise i will sing of the wonders of your word i will sing out for joy of your word and I will forever sing your praise listen when you ignore his ministry your life will be miserable miserable when I was in Zaria in 2013 I was already considering you know if to just expand to go to Abuja or go anywhere and just submitting myself in prayer and i had this vision i saw a plane lift from zaria going to abuja and the name of the ministry was written on it just when it was going to land in abuja it crashed and i knew immediately immediately that god was not in this it was not the season yet 
sincere people including fathers of faith veterans of the gospel they said listen it will be a wise idea to do this i respectfully honor them but i know what he said because in his voice and his leadership is your victory your help the holy spirit has been sent to bring discount to the cost of living for you that your life will be unnecessarily expensive the price you will pay for life will be unbearable if you ignore him by 2018 he comes again he says now is the season i struggled with him for three years to say yes to moving to abuja he said let me at least go to my own state i'm not sure i'm ready i don't i don't want the drama of um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm ready. It's, it's an expensive place. It's an expensive life. And then he began to open me up. I started seeing the visions of the meetings now and the things that God is doing. And he said, you trust me. I have worked with you all these years. I remember the vision. And look what God has done today. Now, you will give the credit to ordinary men. But I'm telling you that behind the extraordinary results of ordinary men is a helper. The helper that guides, the helper that leads. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kete kotos. Kete branda kata ba kotos koto pray kete kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.